the Sopwith Camel came to be known as one of the most successful biplane fighters of the First World War. Having incredible manoeuvrability, it accounted for the most enemy kills of any aircraft in that conflict. Join me in this short review of the Academy 172nd scale plastic model kit of this famous aircraft. Hello and welcome to Model Minutes. Today's video is a quick review of the Academy Sopwith Camel in 172nd scale. I started this model some years ago, but never really finished it. As a result, it had been sitting in storage without a paint scheme or decals. Having found a little extra time, I decided to complete it. A little fact I since discovered about this aircraft was that it got the name Camel from the hump over the guns on the nose. But this name was never an official designation. The kit comes moulded in the standard grey plastic, but has reasonably good detail for such a small model. I did notice, however, that no pilot figure is included. The instructions consist of an A5 sheet of paper, which contain information about the actual Sopwith Camel, safety warnings and general information about how to read the instructions and prepare the parts for assembly. They aren't the best instructions, however, and I found that I had to use the box art and Google searches in order to accurately position decals and the rigging wires. A sheet of water slide decals are included and they are well printed and apply to the kit quite easily. I chose to use Humbrol acrylics to finish this model and you might be able to notice that the matte finish has a slight white sheen to it. This is due to the acrylic matte varnish from Humbrol. I've since discovered that a good way to avoid this is to mix it with a little satin varnish during application and it results in a better finish. The paint scheme depicts this as a Sopwith Camel F1 of the Royal Naval Air Surface of No. 10 Squadron B Flight in January 1918. The rigging was made from invisible thread with holes made in the relevant locations on the kit and then threaded through and glued in place. As mentioned previously, I had to Google the locations of these wires as it was not included in the instructions. At the time of this video, it did not look like this kit was currently in production but Academy does seem to release these kits periodically. As a result, there may be stocks available in shops or second hand. The average price seems to be about £4 in the United Kingdom, which if I remember correctly, was about the price I paid. Overall, this is a great little kit, having good details and panel lines that I was surprised to see in such a small model. I did not struggle with any stage of this construction other than the rigging, but that was an optional extra I decided to include. I have a Revell Sopwith Camel in my stash and I'd be interested to see how these two kits compare when I get round to constructing it. I enjoyed building this tiny little fighter from Academy and more than happy with the finished results I've achieved with my Sopwith Camel. Hopefully you found this review helpful and as always let me know what you think of my finished model in the comments below. I'm also keen to hear your suggestions as to other kits that you'd like to see me build on my channel so feel free to post that too. All that's left to say is thanks for watching this video and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe in order to see more content and help support the channel and feel free to connect with me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. See you all again next time.